And people said Madam Web wouldn't amount to anything and get no buzz about it at all. Well, you've all been proven wrong as there's plenty of buzz for how bad the film is and how he just set a brand new Sony Spider-Man record by being the worst Spider-Man related film ever on Rotten Tomatoes. So I'm not sure where it will be at the time you see the video after YouTube's processing and scheduling and all that, but the score has managed to go down even further. As I'm making this video, it's sitting at a 11. 11, officially making it worse than Morbius on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, I've done my reviews and talked about what I think about the films there. The more spoiler-filled one, I think you really understand what I thought about it. I won't reiterate that here, but um, I'm not surprised, honestly. And uh, it's joining the company of many uh, terrible Terrible films like Catwoman, Robocop 3, uh, I don't know, Batman and Robin, I'm, I know that's for sure down there. So off the top of my head, it's joined some of the worst superhero films of all time now. Right there with Superman, The Quest for Peace. I think that was the fourth one that I only saw once in my life and never again. That one's pretty awful. That's down there. Um, well, it's joining good company, definitely. Especially Batman and Robin. You guys know I love that movie. There, there is no better, dumber movie than Batman and Robin, in my opinion. Man of Web isn't going to join those ranks, for me at least. But um, this is just one of those things where you're looking at Sony's output and you realize that they put out more stinkers than anything else. And I think it's about time that people start talking about the fact that Sony just can't keep getting away with this, you know? Like, how does this keep happening? Like, literally, the definition of insanity is expecting Sony to try to do better next time where they clearly can't do it by themselves. Even their best offering, people are like, uh, it's passably bad. Passably bad. That's where we're at. Accepting that passable and bad is good. Man. So yeah, if you want some more passable bad films, I guess, uh, we'll keep on cheering. That's Sony. We gotta love that Tom Rothman. I'm pretty sure I spotted scenes where he clearly interfered with this film. Probably not as bad as repainting the walls on the set of Wolverine Origins where nobody was watching, but I'm pretty sure I noticed a couple things that are like, oh, this smells of Rothman right there. That is peak Rothman. So, won't be surprised if him and Abby were somehow in cahoots with this one. But I suppose now we gotta get ready for Craven and... El Muerto. Where the big bucks are at. El Muerto.